You know, the Laval family history in downtown Fresno goes back way over a century now. And Pop Laval came here in 1910. One of the first areas, of course, he started taking photographs of was downtown because that's all there was. Everybody lived downtown, they worked downtown, they walked, they eventually were riding horses, and then pretty soon there were cars. And so it's an area that's changed over the last century dramatically, and I'm anxious to see what it will become in the next century. When I look at Pop's old pictures of downtown, my favorite era by far is downtown Fresno in the 1920s. It was vibrant, it was exciting, we had all kinds of people, architects come from San Francisco and beyond, built some of the buildings that we still have today, and it was where everybody gathered. One of the things that Fresno needs again is that sense of community, and that was what was down in the area which became the Fulton Mall. When it was Fulton Street, actually it was you know, named different street, all the letters of the alphabet, families gathered there day and night, weekend, weekday, worked, lived, and played all downtown in Fresno. I think now is the perfect time for Fresno and the area around Fresno to be able to rediscover its past. The mall went through a renovation in the 60s. It became where you could only walk on it. And at that time, that worked here. And now, you know, people are ready with their new families. I think that there's a potential in the future for families to move back down here. People are looking for a place to gather with their friends and family and really be able to build the businesses back up. But it's going to take all the pieces together, restaurants, housing, all the different things, stores. And I think if you have that plus some recreation, we'll see a new renaissance in downtown Fresno. I think if the mall reopening is done in a proper way, there'll be a great mix of pedestrian traffic, traffic from cars, bicycles. We have weather that is conducive to that most of the year. Really, there is so much of the upside, and I think that everybody can understand that it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. It doesn't have to be one way or the other. There can be a good combination in there that'll make it work. We see that in the photos because you can see pedestrians, even bicycles, of course, and even some horses. So in the past, I mean, unless we add that back in there, I don't think the cars, the people, and the bicycles will have any problem getting along together. My very favorite photo from that era has to be the one that shows Fulton Street open to traffic with the trolleys. I would love for that to happen again, you never know. Uh, trolleys and people, and it looks like a bustling city. San Francisco, probably the closest to Fresno would be San Francisco. By far my very favorite, taken in 1926.